Craving your favourite fast food fix during lockdown while you're not alone, Lower Hutt woman Liz McGimpsey has taken matters into her own hands and created homemade McDonald's. She's shared her facsimile fast food tips with our reporter Ruth Hill. Liz McGimpsey admits her family doesn't eat a lot of takeaways usually, but for lockdown they decided to try a little DIY fast food. She went online and found a ready-made community of people doing likewise. There were a lot of different recipes and they all were pretty much identical. So somebody has obviously nailed the Big Mac burger online. Liz McGimpsey says her Big Mac was really convincing. She made the sauce from scratch and steamed the buns as per instruction. It definitely tasted more wholesome than a Big Mac sauce. It was delicious. It was but it was definitely more filling than a Big Mac burger from McDonald's. Replicating KFC chicken was a bit trickier. I tried a single coat and then a double dipped coat, and the double dipped coat definitely came out better, but it still didn't have the greasiness. It tasted too wholesome to be KFC. She found there's nothing healthy about KFC's coleslaw recipe, however, but it found favour with five-year-old Frida and little brothers Gordon and Billy. I made coleslaw to go with the chicken, That required half a cup of sugar for four servings of coleslaw. They ate mouthfuls and mouthfuls of the coleslaw. (laughs) I've never seen them eat salad in the same way before. Mrs McGimpsey is keen to attempt a Burger King Whopper using the official recipe shared by Burger King France, especially for the lockdown. But she says she needs a little break first. After doing McDonald's and KFC, I ate... Brussels sprouts for dinner the next night. I just couldn't really stomach anything other than Brussels sprouts. It seemed quite appealing. A Facebook group called Homemade McDonald's has 27,000 members. Its founder, Melbourne artist Joel Cornell, says his fake fast food journey started a couple of years ago when he spotted some yellow American-type cheese in his local Coles supermarket and decided to make Big Macs for a barbecue. He started the Facebook group a year ago, encouraging people to post photos and recipes, and, in his words, it went viral. He's noticed a spike in uploads since McDonald's all around the world began closing their doors due to COVID-19. There's been a lot of UK submissions recently, and I, I know they're in full lockdown. And there's been some Australian stuff, but um, definitely something you guys could do over in New Zealand is make Big Macs at home. Mr Cornell hasn't received any cease and desist notices from McDonald's copyright lawyers. Look, um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say McDonald's probably love it um, because it's probably promotional stuff. But um, they did contact me about the T-shirt, of which there's a hamburger flipping you off. Um, And that was sort of, they were like, oh, you know, um, we're just going to check with our team to see if this breaches, you know, anything. And and they, they never got back to me, so... Joel Cornell says it's cheaper and tastier to make your own Big Mac at home, but he still buys takeaways. He's a bit embarrassed to admit it, but he bought one this week because Melbourne is not on lockdown. I am deeply ashamed of my country's reaction to um, what's happening and the, and the you know the COVID stuff. So, you know, it just just to say, you know, you guys are doing really well. Um, <laughs> I'm not, you know, love your prime minister, and I'm not poo pooing um, on the fact that your McDonald's isn't open, but it is open for us. So there you have it, fast food lovers. There's no need to go without. Source yourself some gherkin relish and give the homemade Big Mac a go. For Checkpoint, Ruth Hill.